Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I'm Peter Moxling, Keeper of the Archives, and the last time we had one of those, uh, go kill the Advent General Field Officer guy in one in the tunnels again. And actually went really well. And, and I think that's the first mission where we actually took out all three of the faction heroes with us as well. And at the very end of it, because we fought an Advent Mech, we finally unlocked the Advent Mech Breakdown, which we need in order to unlock Illyrium. Which I want to do, because that unlocks the Tier 3 weapons. Also, I think last time is when we accidentally ate a, an Illyrium core. Like, the first of our Proving Ground projects popped and we didn't get anything. Still kind of weirded out by that. I think that I did just genuinely glitch out the game there, which sucks, but eh, whatever. One Illyrium core is not a huge loss, it's just annoying. If you're a fan of the Resistance, good news from the front lines today. As I've heard it, XCOM tracked down a high-ranking member of the Advent Murder Squad and gave him a dose of their own medicine. According to reports, Advent's field commander was executed unceremoniously by the skilled soldiers of XCOM. Yay, extrajudicial murder! Anyway, Dragonova and Mox, uh, Bond... Not gonna lie, I'm actually for it. The only reason that I would be against bonding them is that of all three factions, Mox, aka Skirmishers, is the one that I'm most likely to drop at any given mission. So it'd be a lot nicer if she was gonna bond with someone who I'm going to have on a mission with her more often. Now let's see. Three, three, nine, three, three, okay. You're going to be out for a little while. You're out for a while because you got shot. I was expecting like nine days or something. Fourteen's a bit much. Oh, well, we, don't have any, we don't have anyone staffed in the infirmary, so that's part of the reason why. Let's see. We have 12 days until supply drop. And at like I'll go with ten, nine or ten days, I'll go ahead and make two more contacts so that our income goes up. Uh, and maybe. Did you expect that I would be fearful of the news of your discovery? You may be aware of my movements, but it would change nothing. We have 158 intel. Okay. Let's go for supplies for a moment, because... I don't know how many more alloys we need for a lot of, like, the weapons and armor, but I think we're good for the moment. Tracer rounds, good for our sniper, but that's about it. Wait for the Muton autopsy. Commander, we're almost out of time. The Avatar project is entering its final stages. The only way we're going to slow the Elder's progress is by destroying one of their facilities. We have to move fast or everything we've worked towards will be lost. Commander, the aliens aren't slowing down. They've already got multiple facilities operating across the globe. We're running out of time. Our actions have succeeded, and the Elders grow fearful. Okay, so no promotions for any of them. We'll increase on our squaddy level sniper. Uh, looks like that's about it. So that was just part two of hunting the warlock. Our strength against these Chosen grows just as our knowledge of them does. The skirmishers respect your ways, Commander. Your people fight with honor. Okay, Hunt the, hunt the Warlock Part 3. Improve Combat Intelligence. Tactical Analysis is the new one. If there are orders you would have us follow, Commander, tell us what must be done. Enemy units lose one action on their next turn if discovered on the XCOM turn. That feels like it's good, but I'm not sure I know how to use it effectively. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. Okay, still can't do that. This now might be good, actually. Recruit Engineer, same as before. Useful now, not so useful later. Alien Loot, eh. Manufacture Upgrade, eh. Same as the other one. Intel, 40 Intel, not really worth. Form a bond. 
let's get the training, uh, the training room or whatever it is up first. Facility lead, if we were out of facilities, that'd be good. Improve combat intelligence. What's the other one? Oh, the other one is, is bond, right. And that's those two. You know what? Sure. Let's try this. You parry so much. Let's put you there for dodge. Uh, let's see. Ranger tired for one, so we can put a ranger in. No problem. 25 supplies. Yeah, sure. Negate the capture. And so in 10 days, we will reduce Avatar Project progress, so we don't need to worry about the timer anymore. And we might get wounded, but that's about it. We'll get the job cool. done. Don't worry, Commander. Now, of course, that progress reduction would normally be a really bad idea because realistically, you just want to hunt down the Chosen as quickly as possible to get more resistance orders on the monthly tickover. But we can't do any more of those because we don't have uh, the final Chosen unlocked, so we can't do the Templar one. And the other two are both at two out of three, and the third level requires a Major or Colonel, which we do not have. Captain up to Major, right? Yeah. So we're almost able to take down two of the Chosen, but we can't do either of them yet. So might as well just uh, have the Resistance deal, or the Resistance, the resistance Ring deal with uh, reducing Avatar progress. Okay. Recruitment is up by 100% for a month. Not great, but not terrible. The outcome there we of go. this research can only further our advances, Commander. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. New item, advanced grenade launcher. Oh yeah, that's what you get. New proving ground project, plasma grenade. Okay, both of those are super worth it. Muton Autopsy, codename Surter. Having never seen any pre any of the previous Muton variants personally, I can only go by the stories I've heard from Central Officer Bradford and others. As they say, the current as they say, the current breed is apparently on the smaller side, although considerably more agile than the originals. Internally, the subject maintains all of the hallmarks of extensive genetic modification, with additional mus mus with additional musculature and bone protecting the internal organs from any risk of direct contact. The aliens clearly spent a great deal of time and effort honing the abilities of the Muton as a frontline combat soldier. I have heard that our soldiers believe the Mutons to be part of a tribal society, at least originally, based on their unusual battle cries and markings seen in the field. Having finally gotten a closer look, I can, conf I can confirm the presence of unusual scarification that could certainly be attributed to ritualistic behavior of some kind. I would like to get that now. I would like to get that now. I probably don't want this, actually. Since it's improved mag weapons, I think that that's going to be plus one damage for all mag weapons. But I don't want to stay on mag weapons. Yep, damage of all mag weapons by plus one. Mech. These robotic units developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. The aliens have considerable resources at their disposal, but we've still managed to do reasonably well against them, despite our own limitations. New okay. orders, Commander? Okay, deal with that in a moment. Nothing there. 100 supplies, 10 alloys, sure. We should see if any of the troops have been keeping count on alien kills. Might be a useful recruiting tool. There you go. Okay. Make contact over here. We're 
Picking up indications of the Elder's Warlock actively working in this region. And make contact over here. Instant 90. Yep. New regional contacts located. And we have not triggered the final chosen yet, so we don't need to worry about that. And now we have our 5 out of 5 contacts. Nice. And supplies. There we go. Your Templar friends are no different than countless other species who found themselves obsessed with the Elder's power. Yeah, I know, right? Anyway, okay, so income down by 21. That's it. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Commander, we have a line on the Chosen Warlock here. Do you not yet understand the price of defying the Elders? Was the pacification of the settlement not enough to reform your ways? The Elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their Chosen are no different. The Resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. I mean, even if we had finished the mech breakdown, we don't have Illyrium even started, so... We couldn't do that much better, it's just... Oh boy, I hope that a lot of my soldiers are back. Innocent lives will be lost today, no doubt. And their blood will be on your hands. Wait, so is this in the Assassin's Ter- Yeah, it's in the, um... It's in the Mexico region. So the assassin might show up. Okay, we have a battle scanner now. Uh, reinforce our defenses. Hopefully that means this is the one where they shoot back. Setting course for Mexico. In five or six days until the covert op is done, we can get rid of this timer. That's not you. Uh, I shouldn't take Dragonova in, but I do want to. Like, the concealment on a co or on a retaliation mission is just really good. Okay, start with the normal squad. Specialist. Oh, not you. Grenadier. Okay, Templar is the easy one. She'll be wounded for like two weeks afterwards if I do this. This isn't necessarily a good idea. I'm gonna try it though. You get that. You get that. Make sure everyone's got their weapons. Mobile items. Okay. Look an upgrade. Air trigger is the only one that I have by the looks of it, so bonus action. Uh, Mox isn't here, so can't check if he has that or not yet. I think he does, though. Good. Good, but you can fit another. You already have you already have hair trigger, so you can't do that. I don't want to upgrade your weapons, uh, otherwise, yeah. Bonus action on you, eh? Maybe. Sparks. Any chance you're on the mission? No, you're ripcord. Okay. Hmm. You bond with anyone? Nah, not yet. Okay, guess that's what we got then. Let's go on the. Okay, we are definitely encountering the chosen here. Very difficult assault or very difficult um, retaliation mission. Yeah, yeah, chosen, and probably a new kind of alien. Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Advent's so-called peacekeepers are hitting one of the resistance camps in this area. 
and they're taking out civilians and fighters alike. We're deploying to protect as many people as we can. Secure the site and take out any hostile forces still threatening the area. Defend them from assault, save the forces, defeat the enemy forces. We're not getting help on this, okay. Oh, Freedom Valley, New Mexico. Retaliation mission, Operation War Storm. Let's go. Boop, boop. Okay, okay. Here, let me pause here, actually. Uh, I gotta come clean on this, just to be totally upfront and transparent. This is actually going to be the second time I'm doing this mission. And it's not because the first time was a full squad wipe or anything like that, but rather just a really dumb mistake on my part. So, what happened in the first iteration was that I did the entire mission, and it, and it was actually really exciting. Like, someone actually did die. A lot of people were wounded. It was an exciting mission that went kind of badly, but I still pulled through. And then I noticed at the very end that my hard drive had ran out of space, and OBS wasn't recording anymore. So, I then went to see how far I could back up in terms of the autosaves, and it turns out that I could recover most of what I'd lost. The only part that would be missing is the turn where that person died and everything went to shit. I actually did then re-record a second instance of that mission, uh, so I could just have that breakpoint, then record to the end, and that, and that was going to be the video. But honestly, that didn't sit well with me. I really didn't like the idea of leaving such a climactic time out of the actual episode. So, I decided to reload, not at a previous turn autosave, but at the previous mission autosave. And that was actually like three days before the advent uh, retaliation mission here. So, the new mission loaded up at the same point in time, but it is a different map than what we were seeing uh, in the preview stuff before. My apologies for that. I'm going to be looking at that more closely from now on. I'm going to make sure I have enough space for like two hours of recording before I record any given episode. And that should fix that for the future. Let's get into the actual mission, though. Okay. Let's see. We're in the corner. We got some elevation here, which is nice. And this is the mission where we are trying to meet up with these civilians. That's still a thing, because we don't have a marker. Ooh, wait, that's the edge. Oh, this is not a huge map then, or at least not a wide map. In that case, Dragonova, who will be uh, injured at the end of this mission because we're taking her entire still. Moving as ordered. Yep, still Berserkers and Mutons. Cool. By the way, uh, the one thing that might be... Oh, well, uh, I'll leave myself on screen for this moment. Uh, but the one thing that might be a little different from the loadout that you saw before I did the cut to this instance is that my sniper here actually has tracer rounds now. I don't think that I had those before, and I don't know if reloading the game fixed that bug or something. I I don't quite remember when we had that bug with the proving ground, so... Eh. Worst case scenario, I have trace rounds on my sniper now. Okay, come on, let me put the sniper up here. I, I, I would like the sniper to get elevation. That is... odd. Near the edge? No? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, you're just not allowed to go up. Normally, that's a very smooth operation, huh? Well, you realistically can't shoot after you move anyway, so... Let me try going over here. No? What if I go off you and move someone else first? Okay, I don't know quite what their activation range is, but it's not going to be too, too uh, close. Moving so let's be kind of careful about this. Sniper. Now you can move there. Okay, game's being weird. Here I come. Okay, let's try to not activate them this turn then, so we can have the sniper uh, be on full rifle. What's over there? You to here. 
And you to here. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay, I was terrified that one extra square was going to make a difference. Now, we don't know how they're going to move, but from here, we got full cover against them, and they would need to be, like, literally on this tree, pretty much, in order to reveal Dragonova. Everyone else, Overwatch. Not moving towards... Oh, right, they're going to be moving towards the They're civilians. Oh. Okay. Hey, good on you, Templar. Oh. <laughs> sure. Why not? I don't think Dragonova got revealed either. Ooh, Advent. Hey, you missed. Good good job, civilian. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, not revealed. Also, what's your remote start look like? You know what? She stays in hiding, and I think that kills the muton, or at least gets it down to one health at, at worst. Watch closely. Hi there. Yay! Okay. Big thing that I learned last time. Do not slash the mutons. They have a retaliation move. Oh, Dragonova. Might not burn, but her cover ain't gonna last very long. Okay. Let's just do this really quick then. Dead eye. There you go. Right, right, she moved. Moved up here. No one revealed yet, so that's good. Let's just put you over here. Good. Move you here and then I'm set up going. Overwatch that we have some defense going. Come and get some. Got it covered. Moving out. In line, maximum blue, still moves everyone forward. On Overwatch. And you go ahead and yellow so you meet everyone else. Yes. Try again. There you go. Sorry, Rika. And Cameron. Stopping this fire. says I am to obey. An alien scouting party. And we can't uh, remote start because it's on cooldown. How useful is this? Not actually, so let's not bother. Uh, see, getting on top of the building is not really an option. For now, double half cover here because they're. I'd say they're unlikely to go right here. I'd say they're more likely to walk along this path or go further away looking for civilians. My life is in your hands. Get out of here! Ah, uh, God, I love Squad Sight. Trooper versus other trooper. Now. Ooh, second pot. Oh, duh, they're right next to each other. How'd I forget about that? Okay, so... We can blue move you to full cover. I'm on it. We can run and gun you. Getting in close! Over here... On your order. Active forces sighted. Oh, they're not active yet? Oh, I was able to see them, but they hadn't actually activated. Whoops. I mean, thank you, thank you, Berserker, for moving to uh, not that not near me. Teamwork to give we you an extra action point. Fear. 
That gets one kill. Really? Can't hit both? Okay. Now we have Blade Storm, but we don't have Untouchable. So let's move back to full here. On the move. And then we still have a running gun active. Go! So 97 there. Go ahead. Target eliminated. Templar up to here for now because it's full cover. Can't do much, but just go for the one and four. Okay. I have to focus. That's a stun lancer. Whoops. Uh, that's not great. Mm. Okay. Everyone else is going to yellow move to full cover, basically trying to set up for next turn. Probably too aggressive on that turn, but whatever. Hey, faceless. Oh, that was just straight up a melee attack. Like, not shooting and not, uh... I was thinking of the Berserker's Pound. Hi! And Flamethrower. Damn, you didn't even know Dragonova was there. Theoretically. Hey! God damn it. We put our soldiers through a lot. They'll need time to deal with these issues when we get back. Okay, can't get a kill. Just go for the 80% there then. Not a kill. Deflection. I can do that. I can also do that, and that will freeze them in place for two turns, actually. You're the only one you're the only one over here. So I'll just leave the Muton and the Stun Lancer. And the Muton's too far away to shoot anyone but the uh, Grenadier at the moment, I'd say. So, go ahead. Bombs away. I think that... There we go. One moment on that. Go ahead. Big deal. Okay, we can rend. All right, you. Zap to get to full cover, get you out of the fire, etc., etc. I. Ooh, crit, nice. Let's rend you for the kill. I will tear you apart. Yeah, immune to fire. And I'm tempted to just parry, but I kind of want to put you out into full cover so that you can so you can draw the muton's fire. That is explosive, though, and the muton has a grenade. So let's put you double full here since you're immune to the fire. Thank you. Like, I know you're going to go kill civilians, but that's the best for me. That would hurt a little. Okay, Dragonova's back. Let's blow up these assholes. Heads down! Okay, armor gone. Some melee attacks would, would help that. If you are still in shadow, goddamn. Okay, so I would like to get a kill with you in order to get focus. Let's go ahead and do this in order to get the kill, get the focus, parry, and be out in the open to try to attract an enemy. You will pay the price. Ah, 
Uh, good, didn't get hurt. Not totally sure how, but we didn't. And parry. Now, Slash is a little dangerous here, actually. Remote start. Nope. Nope. Okay, none of those are useful. Claymore could be good here, but we need someone who can trigger it. As you order, Commander. Yeah, we can do this, and that kills you, damages you nicely. I don't know there's a, spe a specific need, so let's hold off for a moment here. Gremlin Heal can obviously be in be good here. Reload, which you should have, and auto-loader, right? Yeah. 50% against the Muton. Obviously not amazing. What if I do this? Kill zone to include all three of those. That's a maybe. And here we have a 91, and realistically, we are only going to be doing this or a heal, so let's do this to try to get the Berserker lower. I think that was a minimum damage. My ammo's running low. Yeah, that leaves one HP guaranteed. Go for a damage then, because it's the only one you can see. Solid hit. That armor's tough. This, that way we can get the kill with the... Actually, let's do this in reverse then. Slash here to get damage off. <laughs> Critical. And then shoot for the kill. Hope for concealment. If not, do we have a follow-up? No, Dragno was the last one. 50-50. Good. I need That's useful. Thank you for being dumb. I'm under attack here. Stasis on the Templar. Okay. Okay, you're out for a bit. And Stun Lancer, Spot Dragonova. Damn. Oh. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. Oh, not remote. Claymore can only hit one, unfortunately. Uh, do we want to go for the for the priest or the muton? Start with you. Sure, let's do this. Not as much damage as I, as I hoped for. Can we teamwork the ranger? I don't think so. Yeah, it's just teamworking each other. Yeah, okay. 80% on you, so go ahead. You want some more? Can't do anything else. Can't get to full cover from here, unfortunately. Wow, that's the only way up on this building? Okay. Thirty-three of that. Or we can blow you the hell up. Get ready for a surprise! That probably helps. Number three. Probably close enough. So move you over here. All right, I'll go. Eighty percent. Good. Dead in the water here. And not quite dead yet because you go into your stasis mode. Play more. There. The weapon. 
blow it up, get concealment. Kill the Muta. Darkness is my domain. I will need more ammo. Second face us. Go ahead and overwatch. No longer stasis. No longer stasis. His planet needed him. Yeah, I'd say that all in all, Playstorm. Yep. I'd say all in all, this is probably the easier mission of uh, this and the other one that I did. Because the other one had a UFO in the middle, like a uh, UFO that had been kind of converted into apartments and such. And there were a lot of civilians on top of that UFO. And the way the fight worked out is kind of meet up with that group of civilians and then have three pods of a Berserker and two Mutons. And that was absolutely terrible to fight through. Anyway. Yay. Minus 1-5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yep, still got wounds, but went a hell of a lot better. I wish I hadn't needed to restart the mission and get a new map, but I really felt bad about missing that turn, so that will be the lost timeline. And yes, the mission got renamed to Sweaty Stallion. Today, when Advent outreach squads visiting an impoverished border town with much needed medical supplies found themselves the victim of an XCOM ambush. Memorial services will be held later today. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. I think this is basically the same promotions I had in the uh, Lost timeline. Maybe the Sniper also got a, got a promotion. Okay, let's read these out because y'all haven't read these before. First of all, we got Sting, which is a shot from Concealment or from Shadow that is guaranteed to not break Shadow. But it's also one charge per mission, requires an ammo. One ammo. And it has a three turn cooldown for some reason. I'm not really sure why that is, if you can only use it once per mission. Uh, then we have Soul Harvest, which is plus five crit up to a maximum of 20 per kill. That, that seems like it could scale really well. But also, uh, this is technically a bit of a typo, by the way because the Vector Rifle is specifically the Reaper's conventional weapon, like uh, the normal shotgun or assault rifle, not the mag or plasma weapon version. I think that this is supposed to refer to all Reaper-specific weapons. And then we have Hollow Targeting, which is Hollow Targeting, which is an interesting idea with uh, a more scout-based unit like, Dr like Dragonova, but Sting is the one that I'm going to go with here. And we're going to save these for a moment because I think I remember this being an interesting one. Right, that's why. Because we literally have Reaper as an option. I forgot about that. First of all, though, deflect. When the Templar has focus, there's a chance to deflect incoming shots, completely avoiding the damage. Like, just, you have a chance to parry every time. 30% chance of focus 1, plus 10 with each additional focus level. Only ranged, single-target attacks can be deflected. Okay, so it's a little more specific than just the parry, which is just all possible damage sources one time. So we can currently get it up to 40%, and it can get up to 50% because there's a way to get to 3 focus. And the other one is channel. When an enemy dies, it may leave behind psionic energy. The Templar can collect to raise their focus level. Good for keeping your focus high, but not actually useful in terms of in terms of and in terms of a combat ability. Let's go with deflect. And let's go ahead and get Reaper, because I intend to keep using the Templar all the time. And Reaper is just, what if we just kept killing things more and more continually? Yay. Okay. 
nine rescued civilians, two berserkers, three mutons, two advent, sorry, two advent troopers, two advent stun lancers, two faceless, one purifier, one priest. Now time to do the faceless autopsy then, because we can get two or three, we can get at least two mimic beacons, I think. Hello, commander. Plus 27 supplies. Okay, but that's it for the mission, and that's the episode. As weird as that is for me, because it was like half an episode for me. Anyway, that's going to do it for me for today. So, thank you all very much for joining me. If this if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do all that YouTube stuff here a million times. I hope you have a wonderful minute of your day, and I hope to see you in the next one, where we will have a hopefully less jank episode. Before he made see you contact, then. I Bye. just assumed the spokesman had died or moved on after the council dissolved. From what little he's told me, it sounds like he managed to gain a position with the Advent government early on, if only to start leaking intel to the Resistance.